Good evening, everybody. Dr. Glow here with Black Girl Everything, and I'm here with the most beautiful Deja. Hello, Deja. Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to have you today. So I did a little more research today about your business because at first I looked at you and was like, oh, her timeline's nice. She'd be cute. Let me interview her. Then I actually really took a chance to look and see what you actually do. It's really cool. So share the name of your business. Okay, so my business is Oblivion. Um, it's a meditation business, like mindfulness-based business. And what it is, is um, my attempt at making meditation really a lifestyle instead of just like another yoga class that you go to. So I encourage like um, painting and doing mindfulness games and activities, as well as incorporating 420 friendly events, because I know that a lot of people use um, marijuana for meditation and anxiety, PTSD, mm-hmm you know, trying to get some rest and stuff like that. So we work on decompression and getting really, getting rid of stress and stuff like that. So that's what Oblivion is really about. Um, Also geared to our communities because there's a lot of pop culture around yoga and like mindfulness and those things when really a lot of the people that could benefit from it are not in those areas and those communities, you know? So that's really what Oblivion is about. Okay, dope. So tell me a little bit more about when you started the organization. What made you really want to start it? Well, I went through my own uh, mental mental health journey and something throughout all the hospitalizations, throughout the medication, um, throughout my own journey. One thing that really, really, really stuck with me was group therapy. And throughout group therapy, we would do art. So we would color, we would draw, Mm -hmm. we would do something Mm -hmm. like that. And that was something where I was really able to let go of my attachment to like time, as well as uh, overthinking about certain things. You know, I was really able to just relax and then be in the moment, which is very hard for a lot of people, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, that inspired me to want to share that with other people. And I had my best friend who was interested in meditation and the things that uh, was helping me grow. So I started off just helping her meditate and we were painting and it began into, it blossomed into a business where I'm able to help other people do the same thing. That's dope. And I also like the fact that you really had the whole creative side onto that because creating brings healing of all types of trauma and pain. And people don't realize that, like, I'm big on journaling, and I talk a lot about that with all my coaching and everything that I do. It's like I give people these journals, and it's like, you know, just write. Write about your feelings. Write about your emotions. Really express yourself, because it really helps in the long run. So exactly. what are some of the things that you do? So where are you from? I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I thought, I knew you were from Detroit. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going to be in Detroit in July. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, have to yeah. See you. <laughs> I just secured um where I'm hosting a Black or Everything event on Shops on Top. Oh um, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So I we're love to come. Time. I love yeah, to be I'm there. Gonna information. It's gonna be dope. We're gonna have a okay. fashion show and all that. It's gonna be extra fancy. Wow. Okay. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. So being from Detroit. Thank you. So Detroit <laughs> has gone through a lot of transition. Mm-hmm. Right. Your yep. city. I've watched it from the outside because Detroit, you know, you have those places where you're kind of just drawn to a little bit. Detroit yeah. has always been one of those places for me. So tell mm-hmm. me a little bit about the importance of mindfulness with based in your community, especially with all the trauma that's actually has happened and is currently being experienced in Detroit. Yeah. So um, really, our city is really like a hardworking city, right? There's a lot of trauma. There's a lot of... Um, honestly, like family-based issues and poverty, Um, but there's a lot of resilience, you know, but Mm -hmm. the problem that can kind of be with that is like putting our mental health on a back burner so that we can hustle. You know, Detroit is known for like hustle and being on your grind and stuff like that, but a lot of us don't have the time or don't make the time for ourselves and our mental health and put a lot of things on a back burner, which cause anxiety, which cause, you know, um, things that maybe it was just like a little trauma, but it turned into like a whole PTSD thing because it was on a back burner for so, for so long. So mm-hmm. uh, you'll find a lot of strong people, you know, who are going to work every day, who are doing what they got to do to raise their kids, um, you know, working two or three jobs. Uh, also chasing their dreams at the same time. You get what I'm saying? Like really grinding out here. However, again, like I said, they are 
negligent you know, not necessarily by choice, but because of the resources that we have. We don't necessarily have a lot of resources as far as mental health and also as far as creativity, a lot of other things to do. Um, that's something that's on the rise and come up now. So I'm really blessed to be a part of that in our in our generation for Detroit. But that I would say that would be the struggle, you know, not having an outlet like those painting classes, not having somewhere to go, even just like chill and lounge, you know, it's either like a club or you have to go, I don't know, like sit at a park or something, you know, there's not really like a, a lot of in between for people to have that outlet, that safe outlet, you know. That's so interesting. What is your educational background? Well, I went to uh, Tennessee State for one year for business, and then I actually just like dropped out and studied business myself. I literally was like on Forbes every morning for like years straight to studying and going on YouTube studying um, like business owners and stuff like that, small business owners and doing my own research for real. So, yeah. Because you're quite in smart to say the <laughs> Thank least. Thank you. No, you have a lot of language and a lot of words behind you. And I can hear the passion as you speak, you know, and I can tell that you really own what you're saying. This is not just a, oh, it's just something nice to say. It's something that you really feel important and empowered by. I definitely can tell you're like super dope. I feel I appreciate that so freaking yeah. much. And especially because like um, my, so I kind of took like a quote unquote break from um, doing the meditation classes for a little bit okay. because my big thing was like, I want to be oblivion, you know, like I want to be oblivion meditation. I want to be a meditation. So I don't want it to just be like, you know, oh, I'm conducting meditation classes. You know, I want it yeah. to be like a, a essence of like who I really am. And so for you to say that really does make me happy because that shows that, you know, I've been like really working on who I am as a person and how passionate I can be and articulate that. Because sometimes I get passionate. I'm like, dang, like, how do I put this into words, you know? <laughs> yeah, you're not having that problem at this moment. But I'm <laughs> listening to everything that you're saying and I'm completely getting where you're coming from. You're communicating yeah. so well. So I appreciate well. that. So, so well. So tell me a little bit more about where some of the goals within your community that you might personally have in regards to these classes and what would they look like? So my main goal and main mission behind it is to show that um, mental health doesn't have to be a tree hugger thing. It doesn't have to be so uh, black and white, you know, like, oh, I got to convert my whole life. It's not, I don't want it to become another religion you get what I'm saying I, I yeah. personally want to separate from all of that and just say put yourself first and whatever that looks like for you so if you like painting um I personally I have been dibbling dabbling in a lot of different things like so I do a little bit of pole dancing I do a little bit of like art I do a little bit of rapping like I do a little bit of everything you know and so that is something that I encourage, not just with the painting, but my business, period. I try to have different events and different things that we can do to show people, like, we can have fun and you can be who you are. You don't have to come clean. You don't have to get a cut and be dressed up. You know, like, literally just relax. Put on put on some yoga pants. Put on a hoodie and come on to a meditation. And really, You know what I'm saying? Literally relax. How you're blunt. If that's what you do and if that's who you are, you can still be mindful you know doing all of those things so that's that's really my main goal behind everything is to bridge that gap in between mental health and um being cool quote unquote oh i understand i understand yeah. so to make it more relatable to communities who don't see this as having access to this right yes. because our yeah. communities tend to be so caught into the negative aspects of meditation so oh, that's not really what i do i don't really go to yoga yeah and all that other stuff not realizing that yoga is actually quite dope <laughs> and it it's is. great to have flexibility for many things so Most you know definitely. That's what you do you know so i think that's okay. really cool looking at it from that perspective especially for our younger communities for our younger yeah. youth um, as another way to center themselves and how to yeah. do that, what that really looks like. I think that's definitely pretty cool. So yeah. how long have you been, how long have you had this business? For about two years, almost okay. two years. All right, congratulations. You're another COVID baby. <laughs> I know. 
We all are, even me. So I'm, I'm right out there. Yeah. Which, yeah, two years. Two years. It's actually well, two congratulations. years. Congratulations. Thank oh you. wow congratulate my so this is funny so you're it's like your two-year birthday for your uh business my mm -hmm. birthday my actual birthday was yesterday oh really it's literally perfect yeah <laughs> that's so dope that's so dope that's so dope so, yeah so tell me a little bit more so i know you also have a podcast yes so tell me about that because i think that is going to be incredibly interesting so my podcast is like i look at it like yin yang energy right so oblivion meditations is like that's like me relaxed cool calm collected you know being able to help and have compassion for others my podcast is almost like my shadow self you know it's really just me unpacking a lot of my trauma a lot of my questions um that I may have as far as our reality you know and some things that have gone on for years so it's called f-u-c-k generational curses um and it's really like I said it's really just unpacking a lot of things from different people like I'm I personally I'm a spiritual person however okay. I had an atheist on my like an atheist on my podcast and we talked about um their background and what why it is that they were not necessarily interested in religion or spirituality and um some things that may make them interested you know, so just really talking to people of all different walks of life and bridging those gaps in between, like, really, it's just like translation. Some things that I've, um, that I've noticed is like the words that we use, you know, it's just mm -hmm. different vocabulary, but we have a yeah. lot of similarities with everyone, you know. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. So does the podcast align with your mission of Oblivion as well? Or is, okay, so like, how do you Most connect definitely. The so really it's like no small talk essentially so you come to oblivion and we're like okay you know yeah everyone has trauma what are some things you deal with you know boop, boop, boop. but <laughs> the podcast is really like okay today we're talking about being gaslit from doctors and how okay. they you know are drug dealers essentially because they give you they have these uh agendas to push off drugs literally yeah. <laughs> you know so it's like that, like conspiracy almost, but not really conspiracy. It's really like direct experience. Um, I talked about how our food is really related to how we feel, you know, um, yes. and how we eat, you know, certain things. Mm -hmm. And we wonder why we have anxiety or depression or mm -hmm. battle with, you know, cloudy thoughts and stuff like that. So really addressing like the specific issues one by one, episode mm -hmm. by episode, Mm -hmm. Whereas Oblivion, it would be more general, more general, more relaxed, more or less in your face. Like, OK, <laughs> this is what we get into today, you know? Yeah. No, that, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I'm big on you are what you eat and mm -hmm. how you take care of yourself. Is also, it starts with, honestly, what you're eating on a day to day basis. That's where it starts. Yeah. And if you're not putting the right things in your body, it's going to definitely shift your whole mood, your whole way of thinking and everything else like that. So I agree. That's like with me when I go on my sugar binges, but I'm definitely addicted to sugar. And uh -huh. it <laughs> my ability to focus. Yeah. Hands yeah. down. I'd be all over the place, all antsy. And, and then even mood swings come if I don't get chocolate sometimes. Yeah. Like, I feel like together. Yes. Mm -hmm. exactly so i mean i think do you, well i want to ask you a question do you feel like um now that you're aware of the effect that sugar has on you do you feel like that helps you uh be more disciplined in that area like now that you have that consciousness <laughs> i want to say many moves ago yeah i'm in a different yeah. world right now me personally right. um i think with all the different things that i'm doing um I, I run to sugar okay. because it is definitely my drug of choice currently. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, yeah, and, I, and I'm definitely an addict. I know it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I could use a meeting for, for sugar, but uh, <laughs> I, I'm working on it. But I am aware, but I do find that I will hit my own hand um, mm -hmm. and not go to the extreme at times, or I will okay. take a moment to make those conscious choices and be like, no. But yeah. you know, right now, this week, I'm focused on commitment. So that's my goal for myself this month, to really recommit myself to be co being committed to things. Okay. So sugar's on my list. Mission Ryan said it out loud. Um, okay. Because once you say things out loud, you have to own them, don't you? So. Yes. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. So where do you see yourself going with these organizations? Like, what are some of your future plans? 
Um, I see myself having um, a community, really. Like, yeah. more than a business, it's more, to me, it's a community. It's uh-huh. a community that I would like to, I'm honestly um, in the looks of trying to get certain things that I do covered by insurance companies. So, oh, like, okay. really for the community, because I don't want it to be about cost. I don't want it to, even though it's very, very mm-hmm. enjoyable, I don't want it to turn into just, like, oh, something we go do on a night out. No, like, this is a lifestyle, you know? I want to be able to have um, have people, essentially, like, I want to be a pop-up business, you know? But it's okay. a com- like a traveling community, a community that can bring the energy, the vibes to you. You know, Mm -hmm. but again, not really so company based. So I feel like that's my my personal battle right now as a young entrepreneur is finding that balance between my moralities and my goals, you know, as far as where I see myself as a business. Advancing. Yeah. (laughs) Listen, you're impressing me with all these big words you're using. Uh No, which means that you really thought about, you really thought about what you're trying to do. Like you're really feeling what you're trying to do. Like a lot of people start these businesses like, oh, I'm going to sell lip gloss. Okay. Yeah. Why? For what? And how? What's the purpose? What's your reach? What are your goals? Why? And they look like, oh, because, you know, I think it might be a good idea. That's not reason to start a business. You have to have that passion and that fire behind what you're doing for it to even be meaningful to yourself. Because otherwise you're not going to stick with it. Literally. I mean, and I tell you, like, I could work 400 hours for myself a week, you know, almost. I don't know if it's 400 400 hours in a week, but I could do it, you know, before I I just do something meaningless, you know, hit hit at the wall, whatever the case may be, just for some money. Um, And also, like, it's a community because it really is again oblivion is me so I have like merch that I sell you know that I created from me sketching in my sketchbook you know Uh from a time where I was I needed to release some things in my head you know so um, these things are literally quite a product of my mental health journey my Mm -hmm. events my podcast my merch um, you know everything like when I was doing mental health Monday which I will get back to but um literally everything it's my personal journey that I know that a lot of people have been able to resonate with so I'm trying to really um implement that group therapy aspect that I learned in actual group therapy in the business okay okay so you keep mentioning the word events Right, keep yeah. saying that, and I keep hearing yeah. about it. So, tell me a little bit more about the the types of events you've already hosted, and some of the ones you plan mm-hmm. on doing in the future. So, the events that I host, um, they're pop up events. So, they're you know just kind of here and there, wherever I am. Sometimes, um, they consist of like having I have snacks. I have a general theme for the event, so I may be doing a stress reliever meditation, or we may be doing an inspirational or motivational or you know, um, maybe like a a PTSD, you know, so there are themed Mm -hmm. events, um, where I have multiple people. So 10 to 15 people at each event, whereas normally I just have the one-on-one clients. So the events will be like a class, essentially a small class. Um, and I have a raffle. So I have gift bags with like sage, like a little mental health kit, sage, okay. some cards, some meditation goggles, which are just an eye mask, but I like to call them meditation goggles. That's cute. Um, <laughs> so yeah, like it's music there. Um, everybody's just painting and networking and talking. So that's why I call it an event because it really is an event. You know, it really is a special occasion where our community comes out and comes together to spread good love and good vibes. So, yeah. Okay, Banshee Schwanchi. It sounds like a Black Girl <laughs> Everything event. I call them experiences because everything that I do is an experience. You know, you come out because I don't host like, you know, these typical pop-ups where you have a whole bunch of vendors in a space. Like there has to be meaning to it and like a real base of something. Like even part of the national tour when I'm coming out to Detroit is really to promote my book as well as I'm another author that I work with and then bring vendors from New York who come with me to these different cities to get more exposure for their organization, you know? So yeah. I, I get you. This way, everything's always just a vibe. 
everything's yeah. a lot. It's like, you know, yeah. what are we going to do special? What are we going to do cool? You yeah. know? So I totally get you in regards to that because people want to have experiences. It's not just coming into a blank room. It's got everybody's just there. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, what's going on? What's more than this? Because obviously I'm going to get bored because I, I, you know, even when I do my own pop-ups, I never stand at my table. I'm always just in the event. I'm talking to people about their products and yeah. I'm just around and, and everything yeah. else like that. And so it's like, you know, if I sell something, I do, if I don't, <laughs> you know, yeah. that will happen. You know, I'm just more so yeah. looking for the experience of networking. Exactly. And exactly. And, and that's also something that I try to implement too. It's like, um, I'm big on aesthetics. So like in the fall, I had like cider and donuts. And, you know, in the summertime, it was more so like the summer snacks and like the little hug juices, you know, so I try to play into like the aesthetics and just make you feel cozy and cool. So I love that about about you. And I would love to come to one of your events. You're really going to be there it. July 23rd when I'm in Detroit. Okay. Yeah. You got to send me the information. <laughs> I'll will. be here. The flyer is already it. out. It's on, yeah, it's all on my, my, uh, my, uh, website and everything else that I do. Okay. Okay. Definitely, definitely cool. Definitely cool. So what do you, what else do you want to share with people though about you? Like, are you have any other adventures that you're going to start? You're going to do? Because it seems like you have all this brain power up there. And I would love to hear about maybe something new that you want to work on. Mm -hmm. What do you have? Well, um, so I'm working on a vegan cookbook. Uh, because mm. I am vegan okay. <laughs> so I'm working on a vegan cookbook and everything I do I try to put my little my, my own little spin or twist on it so it'll be something uh new like no other cookbook out there I'm gonna just say that because I'm announcing it soon but I don't want to give too much up about it yet I get you um I'm also releasing some new merch soon um I have a blanket that I'm releasing it's really nice really fuzzy really cozy it's a meditation blanket um i also have what else am i working on well podcast season two is coming out soon i'm working on i'm recording my episodes and stuff now so i'll be okay. releasing that soon but the season one is up on all platforms now officially all platforms now because so i was having some trouble at first and yeah i really just want to like travel and learn some more things like um i did go to arizona for a little bit Okay. And I learned, I had a couple of events there, but I also learned some new things about like just different herbs and I don't know, living my life a little bit because I am still young and it's helping me find the words and like almost like the metaphors, like poetry to be able to talk to people. You know, it's like that, I guess that wisdom that comes with living life. Yeah, no, I think that's definitely good. <laughs> I think that's definitely good. Yeah. By the way, how old are you? 25. Okay, because you look like a baby, but you're black, so you probably look like a baby anyway. But you know, <laughs> you definitely are aging well. But my my thing about with you is some of the thoughts and the things that you're even saying. You're you're well beyond before your time. I wish that I was able to focus at your age. Hmm. I didn't have this level of focus. Maybe I had many distractions in my life. I had major distractions in my life, I know. Yeah. But I wasn't able to focus. Like, because you're focusing like me, and I'm 42. People say <laughs> I'm 42. Yeah, I'll be 42 in July. Well, I'm 42 now. I don't care. So I'll be 42. <laughs> and you, you really are really focused. You are phenomenal. And if you continue where you are right now and keep elevating yourself the way that you are, you're going to make world-changing decisions for everybody and your impact is going to be beyond what I ever think you might believe it to be right now yeah I appreciate that yeah I, you know I, I I'm good at reading through people and you experience the world different than others well you're Pisces so you're supposed to in the first place but you you have it though because you've honed in on who you are and what you're trying to do just keep it up because it's going to everything yeah. you're going to do is going to be amazing yeah I appreciate that because like I'm going to be transparent with you because, one, I feel comfortable, but two, that's just, you know, I'm going to keep it real and just let you know, Um, I mean, my 25th birthday was yesterday, but leading up to that point, I was feeling kind of uh, defeated almost because uh -huh. I learn and I, I try to research so much and it's almost sometimes like I feel like I'm learning faster than I'm able to implement the things that I'm learning, yeah. you know? 
And so I was feeling kind of stuck, like, dang, I'm 25, but I should have, in my, in my mind, in my perfect little big head, I should have, like, traveled the world five times by now. So I appreciate you telling me that, and um, it, maybe I could keep it, take it a little easier on myself. Because <laughs> my mom no, always really should. Me, like, chill out. you really yeah. should, because young folks your age, first of all, I know some people who are close to my age, and I've been looking at them like crazy, like, I don't, when are you going to figure it out? Just a little bit, just a little bit, you know, so <laughs> where you are right now is where you're supposed to be. Right. I just need you to to own all those different things, you know, like I learn something new every day and every time I learn something new, yeah. I want to implement it. So I get you. I am definitely that dude 1000%. Don't let me yeah. learn something. I want to figure out how to teach it to the world. And this is why my friends get mad at me because I end mm -hmm. up, you know, making a whole bunch of new events and or starting yeah. new businesses because I'm just yeah. like, no, I want to do this. No, I'm going to do hey. this. And, yeah. you know, and I just start over and over and over again and just add to my list. And I don't care. But I'm going to keep yes. going because I want to share what I know. So I get that feeling of not, but I want to try this. I want to do this. Just keep knocking off your list. Everything is going, yeah. you're going to accomplish it all. Just keep writing your list, keep setting your goals. And you're going to start seeing over the years, one thing is going to knock down, another thing is going to knock down, another thing is going to knock down. You know, and get yourself out there traveling. You will, your travel's coming. Because first of all, you got to go meditate on different mountains. How about it? Yeah, most definitely. Like, I appreciate that. That's what I that's what I meant by I'm trying to also become oblivion, not trying to. I am actually quite literally becoming it by having an opportunity to even go to Arizona for, you know, some time and study and 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 explore and actually learn certain things. I just learned how to play chess um, a couple weeks ago and it put okay. things into a different perspective for me, man, like about patience even, you know, and. Mm -hmm playing a long game and not being so impulsive, you know? So I don't know. I'm just saying like life has just been, life is hilarious. First of all, <laughs> like that it literally is. is. You just think, I, like I sit and think about stuff and I'm like, wow. Um, but I just started like my video diary to mm -hmm. myself where I just record videos of myself when I'm feeling like, overwhelmed or stressed and I'll go back and look at them and I'm always like oh girl you're so dramatic like you know <laughs> but it's just one of those things you know so I think I will take it I, I think I will most definitely um prioritize being more grounded you know and not being too goal oriented because mm -hmm. I look up and I'm like dang like I missed out on certain memories because I was so focused on the future you know what I'm saying yeah you have to live in the now you got to yeah. know when to tap out and just to be present within that moment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Moments go by so fast. I'm they telling really you, sooner do. later, you're going to be like 42. And I'm going to call you, I'll be 67. Like, hey, remember I told you it's going to be 42 one day? I'd be like, you sure did. It doesn't matter. We're still going to look like this. So, you know, we'll still recognize each other. Exactly. We're still going to look amazing, but still. <laughs> That's definite. Yo, so if people want to find you, how can they find you? They can find me at on Instagram at love.oblivion um, or on Instagram at f.ck generational curses. That is my podcast page. You can also go to my website at www.youroblivion.com. I'm going to have a um, event, a 420 event coming next month obviously on 420 so that's going to be really really dope um i got some people that i'm collabing with for some vegan thc treats like that'll be Ooh. at the event yes yeah, so i'm really excited about that and the merch is also dropping next month so just look out for me i will be around you know somewhere giving some love shaking somebody's hand hugging them you know that's just me. <laughs> no, that's definitely dope. I want to thank you so much for this time. It's been a great conversation. This thank evening. you for having me. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. No, no, no I, I really, I'm really excited to actually meet you when I'm there on July 23rd. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be such a great time. So I'm going to give you information. Wait, you a cancer? You're a cancer. And I am. Uh-huh, I can tell. That's why we That's why we cool like that, you know. I get yeah. along with cancer. They feel me. You get me, like, literally. <laughs> You know, we're quite big superstars, so we can kind of get everybody. Yeah. <laughs> one of our powers. It's definitely one of our powers. But thank you again so much for this evening. And I look forward to watching you grow. 
Mm -hmm. I'm keep my eye on you for real. Please do, and I'm gonna have to come back if you'd have me back. Oh, I'll definitely have you back. I'm gonna have you in my studio because that's what I'm working on next. Okay. Yes, I love to see it. Big things out there in the air. I'll be there, and I'll see you in July. Definitely. All right. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.